We'll dive deep into the mysteries surrounding an ancient and secretive water cult. Discover how this enigmatic group has influenced societies across the globe, the terrifying rituals they perform, and the dark truths hidden beneath the surface. Prepare to be captivated by the chilling legends and real-life connections that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the world's oceans. Beneath the shimmering surface of the world's oceans lies a secret that has been whispered through the ages, a mystery as old as time itself. For centuries, there have been rumors of a shadowy group known only as the Water Cult, a secret society that claims to hold the ancient knowledge of the deep, passed down from a time when the world was young and the seas were filled with beings of unimaginable power. The origins of the Water Cult are shrouded in mystery, their history traced back to the earliest civilizations. Ancient texts and forbidden scrolls speak of a time when humanity was not alone on this planet, when beings from the depths of the oceans walked among us, sharing their knowledge and power with those deemed worthy. These oceanic entities, known in myth as the Old Ones, were said to be neither gods nor mortals, but something in between, a race of powerful beings that controlled the very tides and currents of the seas. According to legend, the Old Ones formed a pact with a select group of humans, granting them knowledge of the seas and the ability to control water in exchange for unwavering loyalty. These chosen few became the first members of the Water Cult, a secretive order dedicated to serving the Old Ones and preserving their ancient wisdom. Over the centuries, the Water Cult spread across the globe, establishing hidden enclaves in remote coastal areas, far from the prying eyes of the uninitiated. The cult's influence grew, reaching into the highest echelons of power. It is said that many of the world's most powerful leaders have, at one time or another, been under the sway of the water cult. They would perform rituals in the dead of night, offering sacrifices to the old ones in exchange for power, wealth, and control over the seas. The cult's rituals were as terrifying as they were mysterious, involving chants in long-forgotten languages, blood sacrifices, and the summoning of ancient sea creatures from the abyss. One of the most chilling aspects of the water cult's rituals is their alleged ability to summon and control water itself. There are countless stories of devastating tsunamis, mysterious disappearances at sea, and sudden storms that appear without warning events that some believe are the work of the water cult. In these moments, the old ones are said to rise from the depths, answering the call of their devoted followers. But the water cult's influence was not limited to mere control over the seas. The cult's members were also known to possess an uncanny knowledge of the world's oceans, including the locations of lost civilizations, sunken ships, and underwater temples. Some believe that the fabled city of Atlantis was once a stronghold of the water cult, a place where the Old Ones themselves dwelled among their human servants. As the centuries passed, the water cult's influence began to wane, but their secrets were never truly lost. The cult went underground, its members fading into the shadows, their rituals becoming more secretive, more dangerous. Today, the water cult is believed to be nothing more than a myth, a story told to frighten children and keep sailors from straying too far from shore. But there are those who believe the cult still exists, hidden in the farthest corners of the world, biding their time until the old ones return to reclaim their dominion over the seas. They point to strange occurrences in remote coastal areas, to ancient symbols carved into sea cliffs, and to the whispered tales of those who have encountered the cult and live to tell the tale. These stories speak of dark ceremonies held under the light of the full moon, of figures cloaked in seaweed and saltwater, and of voices rising from the depths, calling for the return of the old ones. And then there are the disappearances, the fishermen who set out to sea and never returned, the divers who ventured too deep and were never seen again. Some say these souls were taken by the cult, offered as sacrifices to the beings that dwell in the abyss. 
The truth about the water cult may never be fully known, but one thing is certain, the oceans hold many secrets, and not all of them are meant to be discovered. So the next time you find yourself standing on the shore, staring out at the vast, endless expanse of the sea, remember, there are things beneath those waves that are older, darker, and far more dangerous than you could ever imagine. And somewhere, out there in the deep, the water cult waits, keeping their ancient secrets hidden from the world above.